Good afternoon, learners. Welcome to our class today. We are learning about, we are still on measurement, and today we want to learn about the area of combined shapes and borders. So, I have three examples here. The first example is this one here on the chalkboard, example one. So, this one's a border. For example, if someone asked you to get the area of the shaded part, how are you going to get the area of the shaded part? In most cases, students miss this and they feel that this sum is very difficult, but it's not. It's as simple as this paper here that I have with me. If you look at this paper, this is what I've drawn here. I have 18 centimeter, I have a rectangle and a circle inside. So the rectangle, the length is 18 centimeter and the width is 15 centimeter. And inside that circle, I have a radius of 7 centimeter. So how can I get the area of this figure, the shaded part. Remember, when I multiply 18 by 15, I am going to get the area of the whole of this space. Therefore, because I'm going to get the area of this space, I need to get the area of the rectangle to give me the area of the whole space. Then I also get the area of the circle separately then I subtract that circle because the shaded part is not part of the circle. Therefore, I'm going to remove the circle to remain with this. So let's start with the area of everything. It is length by width. That means 18 centimeters by 15 centimeters is going to give me the area of the whole rectangle. So, I'm going to multiply 18 by 15, that is 40, that will give me 90, that one is 8, and that is 1, 0, 7, then I have 2. So, the area of the whole of this rectangle, of the rectangle, is going to be 270 square centimeters. But remember, even the area of the circle is within this area. Therefore, I get the area of the circle. As we know, to get the area of the circle, we use the formula pi r squared. So we are going to use pi r squared to get the area of the circle. Pi r squared. So, pi is 22 over 7, and the radius of the square of the circle is 7. Therefore, we have 22 over 7 by 7 by 7. 7, 1, 7, 1. Then 22 by 7 will give us 154. Our area is centimeters. Therefore, we have squared centimeters. So, 154 squared centimeter is the area of this part here, the circle, while 270 is the area of the whole space, including the circle. Therefore, if I want to remain with the shaded part only, I am going to remove the circle. Therefore, that circle is not there. So if I remove the circle now, this is the area I'm going to remain with, the area of the shaded part. So I'm going to subtract the circle that means from 270 square centimeters, the, the combination of the circle and the rectangle, now I subtract 154 for the circle, that is 6, 10, 6, 1, 1. So I'm going to remain with 116 square centimeter to be the area of the shaded part. Thank you. 
example two. Example two is this one here. So in example two, we have a figure like this. We have two circles combined together, and you are requested to get the area of the unshaded part. So the, uns uh, the unshaded part is going to form the margin in this figure here. It's going to look like this. So if you have something like this, this part here is shaded, and then this other part is unshaded. So we are required to get the unshaded part. We are going to apply the same formula. We get the area of the circle, the bigger circle is going to give us the area of all the space. So the bigger circle we start with. The bigger circle, the area is pi r squared. And remember, on the smaller circle, our radius is 14. And this other part, we have seven. So it means the radius of the bigger circle will be the radius on the smaller circle here, and then we have this part. So we are going to have seven plus 14. So the bigger circle will be 22 over seven plus 14 plus seven. That will give you 21 by 21. That's the area of the bigger circle. So 7, 1, 7, 3 there. That will give you 66. You multiply by 21. You get 6. You get 2. Square centimeter. That will give us the area of the, the whole figure, including the, the shaded part. Now, the area of the shaded part is also a, a, a circle, therefore we use pi r squared. So 22 over 7 by, its radius is 14. So by 14, by 14. 7, 1, 7, 2. That will give us 44, multiplied by 14. centimeters. So now 44. Now what we have now is that 606 and 6 and 16 is the area of the shaded part. But the area of the whole part shaded plus the unshaded is going to give you 1386. So if you want to remain with the area of the unshaded, we are going to subtract the area of the shaded from the area of the whole figure. Therefore, 1386 squared centimeters minus 616 squared centimeters. So we have 0, 7, 13 minus 6, 7. Seven squared centimeters. So our answer is seven hundred and seventy squared centimeters for the unshaded part. Let us look at the last example.
example three. Example three is a figure like this one I'm holding here. We have been told to get the area of the unshaded. The area of the shaded part is not given the measurements, therefore we need first of all to know the measurement of the, the, the shaded part. What is given is only the measurement on the the whole, the rectangle, the bigger, lectra, the larger rectangle. Therefore, we first of all need to get the measurement of the, the shaded part, then we get it separately, then we also get the area of the larger rectangle separately, then we get the difference so that we can get the area of the unshaded part. So we start by getting this measurement, this one here. So how will we get it? We know that the margin here is 5, 5, 5, 5. So it means if we want to get this line here, we can connect that to this, so that the whole of this line is going to give us 17, because this will form another rectangle, and the opposite sides are equal. So if this one is 17, this is also 17. But remember, part of 17, we have 5 here, and another 5 here. So that will give us 10. So from 17, we are going to remain with 7. So the measurement on the inner rectangle is 7 cm. Then we come to this other one, the length of that rectangle, the smaller rectangle, the inner one. This part, up to that part, will give us 25 cm. But if we connect this to that, this line will also be 25 cm. And part of this line, we have 5 here and we have 5 there. That will sum to 10. Therefore, from 25 centimeters, if we subtract the two 5s here, that will give us 10, we are going to remain with 15. Therefore, after getting the measurement on the smaller rectangle, now we need to work it out separately. Then we work out the larger rectangle separately. Then we get the difference because they want the shaded part, but remember, not all the parts here are shaded. Therefore, if you want only the shaded part, it means we are going to. If you want only the unshaded, it means we are going to remove the shaded part. Therefore, let us remove the shaded part. So, if we remove the shaded part, we are going to remain with this figure here. This is what we are required to get the area for. So, and this figure here has no this part. So we need to get this part so that we can subtract it. So the whole of the figure will give you 25. The larger, the larger rectangle will give you length by width, which is going to be 25 centimeter by 17 centimeters. So we work that one out. So 25 by 17. By 17. That is 35. That is 14. 17. That is 5. That is 2. So 5, 2, and then we are going to have 4. So the area of the, the whole figure will give us 425 square centimeters, the whole figure. So we also need to get the area of the shaded part inside that figure, which is now length by width, and in this case, length is 15 centimeters by width, 7 centimeters. So we work it out. 
15 by 7 at 5, 105 square centimeter. So 105 square centimeter is the area of the shaded part. But because the whole figure, the area is 425, when we subtract the, the, the shaded part, it means we are going to subtract 105. So the area that we are going to remain with is only this area, which is going to be 425 squared centimeters minus 105 squared centimeters. So you get 0, you get 2, and you get 3. Therefore, the area of the unshaded part is now 320 squared centimeters. That's all that I wanted us to check today. We we'll re re refer you to primary mathematics exercise 79. Exercise 79 from page 123, number 3, number 4, and number 5. Thank you for listening, and I hope we shall meet next time. Have a nice day.